Just giving an update. Been away from the kayak build for a while. Past few months have been kind of crazy. Dealing with sports and everything like that. But I'm back in the saddle. Um, gonna redo some of the things I kind of came up with. Uh, decided to go ahead and put a means of disconnect on the trolling motor to the battery that we're going to switch to. Get this open. So I decided to go with a 100 amp hour battery, um, lithium ion, lithium iron, whatever you want to call it. Uh, not a lot of information on this particular battery on the internet, running these motors, but I thought I'd give you guys some insight, kind of what I'm doing. Anyways, so originally... When I posted the video, you guys uh, saw me using the Makita 18 volt battery, which they're in here. I'm gonna show you, demonstrate how that works here in a second. Um, I just kind of did not like that uh, as a permanent means of trolling around. just didn't seem to want to, with the type of chips that are in those batteries, once it got towards a certain <clears throat> discharge on those batteries, it would cut out. Um, I didn't like that. So instead, we're gonna go with the permanent foolproof, hopefully, option. Um, and run that because the runtime on this is a lot more uh, to my liking, I guess, because I don't have to worry about it cutting out on me while I'm out there on the water. Um, mind you, the Makita battery option did work uh, for only about an hour solidly. But after that, it would cut in and out uh, because of the chips and the software that's in the, in the battery themselves. And maybe there's another option out there, but <clears throat> that's just uh, where I'm at with it. Okay, um, so as you can see here, I've installed a switch, a meter to measure the voltage. And the current now this box right now is currently hooked up to the Makita batteries um, so if I turn my motor on you guys see back there it's, it's on and that's kind of where it's at with the the monitoring Something's not quite stable with that. Huh. Interesting. Now when I had this out on the water, under a load, it was drawing a lot more power than what was displayed there. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're at with that. And I'll show you guys how I got this rigged up inside. So maybe you guys can come up with something else. Um, yeah, to excuse the mess because I'm in the process of taking this down. And I wanted to show you guys how I had this rigged up before I tear it down. But anyways. It's all rigged up there. Little transformer, a couple batteries, 
much. Even though these batteries have a way of disconnecting. I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm going to convert this box into a switch box with a breaker. Then I'm going to have it connect and disconnect with the trolling motor connectors. And then go from there. Uh, if you guys have any, any solutions, any ideas on this build, suggestions, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah. So the next update we'll have will be hooked up to the 12 volt battery. Peace.